second week of August, I invite you to respond to our Daily Word program and send an email to frjbarry at resurrectionadw.org, all lowercase letters, frjbarry at resurrection, R-E-S-U-R-R-E-C-T-I-O-N, adw.org, or send a phone call to our parish office uh, to my box. Just tell me uh, that you're watching the show and what you're getting out of it. Thank you. It's Tuesday, August 10th, and Feast of St. Lawrence. Let us pray. O oh God, giver of that ardor of love for you by which St. Lawrence was outstandingly faithful in service, and glorious in martyrdom, grant that we may love what he loved and put into practice what he taught through Christ our Lord. Amen. We'll go to the epistle today of our reading, a reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each much do is already determined without sadness or compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Moreover, God is able to make every grace abundant for you, so that in all things, always having all you need, you may have an abundance for every good work. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In the kingdom of God, the way that God works is you get back what you give. You get back what you give. So with the lesson of the world by sowing the seed and planting and putting into the earth, then you get what you planted, you know? Well, it is so it is in the ways of the heart and ways of faith is that we must uh, surrender and give so that we may receive. So it's just the principle of the way things work with God. And uh, he says, for those of you that sow very sparingly, uh, would you be surprised then in the end that you'll get what only you were willing to give yourself? In a sense, you've set the measure of what you're going to get back. So a generous person and a generous person in cheerfulness is who God's looking for because then you have a big heart and he can fill it up with many blessings. On the Feast of St. Lawrence, I think of things named after him, like uh, there's a parish up near BWI Airport in the Baltimore Archdiocese, another one in Northern Virginia in the Arlington Diocese, St. Lawrence parishes. But I think of St. Lawrence Seaway, the largest inland waterway, seaway in the world, the busiest one too, for it connects the Great Lakes all the way out to the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, it was named the St. Lawrence because it was founded on the Feast of St. Lawrence um, by Jacques Cartier in the 1500s. And the French uh, came. They, it was originally uh, the King of France that said, find a passageway from France to Asia and go west across the Atlantic. Well, this is what they found, that there wasn't quite a passageway to Asia that way. Um, but the French ended up settling in that area, and that's it. 